Thank you. Stay with us. We've got so much more coming up on HSN. I'm Sarah Anderson. Every night at this time, we bring you the very best of HSN. For the next two hours, we have the best deal around in coins. Because if you're going to collect anything, it might as well be money. <laughs> buying coins from HSN means buying with confidence. Our 30-day satisfaction guarantee and the convenience of easy returns. Let's open the HSN vault and join coin expert Mike Mizak. I think this is one of the single greatest coins ever issued by the United States Mint. Wow. I think it's one of the single greatest That's coins. That's a big statement, Mike. Well, and the reason is because it meets all of those standards of collectability. The rarity, because it was released at the end of the year. And what happens when they release a coin in, like, November? Everybody's already ready for the next coin. Mm -hmm. They're moving on. They're moving on. Like the SP coin from this year has already been released. It's been released months and months and months ago. We've had months and months and months to sell. Okay? Mm -hmm. We've had months and months and months to sell them. Do you understand? This one was released so late in the year, I never even got to sell it in 2016. And it's a significant coin. Several things about 2016. The United States government only made three different silver eagles. The regular mint state coin that they made 40 million of. The proof coin that they made about a million of, and then this coin. The satin finish. Which is 186,000. That's minuscule. It's, it's, it's yeah. by far the rarest coin of 2016. Now add in the 30th anniversary designation with the edge lettering. The only edge lettered Silver Eagle of the 30th anniversary American Silver Eagles, okay? That say 30th anniversary. That 10th anniversary coin that's a $30,000 coin, it doesn't say anywhere on the coin that it's 10th anniversary. This was the first time they did this. This is the first time they've ever done that. That was just the first time they ever put a West Point mint on a coin was the 2000 and mm -hmm. uh, uh, the, two th the 1995 10th anniversary. That's why it's a $30,000 coin in this condition. The 20th anniversary coin was just very simply the very first SP or satin finish coin, or a uh, uh, reverse proof coin, sorry, that they did in 2006. That coin, this coin's rare. They did 250,000 of that coin. It sells for like 1,100 bucks in this condition. I've got this coin, which is substantially rarer at 186,000, not for 1,000 or 1,100 or $1,200, but still for $149.95. Because I, I, like I said, I bought, I bought more than anybody else on the planet of these things. <laughs> because I, I, I know a good coin when I see it. And you knew the importance of the coin. I knew the importance of this coin. I knew this was a coin that when, it, when people realized what they missed, because nobody bought it in 2016. Like I said, it fell between the cracks. People were already waiting for the 2017 coins. They were already doing other things. And so by the time you did this, by the time uh, this coin came around to 2017 and it was too late, people had moved on, but I had already bought the coins and I already knew how great this and coin And you already be. had them. I already had them. And that's why I can still put $149.95 on this. Right. That's why I can still put $149.95. <laughs> And, oh, Still going to put a red oak presentation okay. box in it. You know, I mean, it'd just be the easiest thing in the world for me because it is so desirable, it is so valuable, it is so collectible to just take the box away. Right. But, but you get that. But understand, and, I'm, and unfortunately, while I owned almost all of these coins, yes. my supply is running quite thin. Wow. And, and you know, today I think is the perfect opportunity. You can see the little snowflakes falling down our screen. We're mm -hmm. already into full swing here at HSN for our holiday return policy. We want to make shopping fun, easy. We want to give the perfect gifts to anyone on your holiday list, whether it's men, women, kids, children, your sisters, your brothers, your aunts, your uncles, whoever it may be. And you know what? One gift that never gets that look of they shouldn't have is money. <laughs> <laughs> and a coin that is rare and collectible. Now, with our normal policy of return is 30-day money-back guarantee. But because we've already kicked into our holiday return policy, you now, if this is given as a gift and they change their mind, have until January 31st, 2018, to return this coin. In the world of coin collecting, that does not happen. So take advantage, as we love, I love that this little graphic says, stay calm, keep cool, we're gonna take care of you. 
so you can keep, you know stay calm and gift on. Right. So that is available for everyone along with four flexible payments of $37.49. Although I would argue to not stay calm about this coin necessarily. Because <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I, I literally have less than 500 of these coins right. left in this mint state or, or the SP70 condition. So in our last minute here, let me, let me kind of reiterate. So of the anniversary coins, mm -hmm. this is by far the most affordable. Of the four anniversary coins, we have 10th, 25th anniversary, 20, uh, 20th anniversary, and the 30th anniversary. The price, $149.95 for this one, and then in descending order, $1,300, $1,100, and $30,000. So I think you, when you, you get them at their trend. original issue, you can see your trend. Right. And the trend for this is better than, than perhaps the other ones. The fact that it is the only of all of the American Eagles of any kind that has a, a anniversary designation on the edge of the coin itself, the only edge-lettered American Silver Eagle. Then, on top of that, of all of the SP or satin finish coins made at the West Point mint as you can see do not confuse this with the regular eagle this is the rarest of those coins as well mm. so we are going to be wrapping up the clock has gone down it's 538-906 and remember this is a customer pick I'm always rushing, I'm always up against it on this set. And one of the big reasons is, is it's so phenomenally popular. And, and I've gotta to try to do this without destroying the entire thing. Let me see if I can do that. If I do destroy the entire thing, I apologize in you. advance. We'll put it all back together. Yeah, we will. Uh, because of this set. We've already sold 16 of these. Wow. That's probably from the, the last time I sold this set. Um, we uh, probably had 100 people that tried to order and couldn't. Because I always have 100, I, I have 150, that's... I have 200, I have 250, I have whatever. Whatever, you know, I have whatever I have because they're very difficult to get, particularly this 2008 set right down here, and I'll get to all that in a minute. Let's go back in just a little bit of time, okay? All the proof state quarters. I have no idea why all the proof is parenthetical in that. <laughs> just, it's, it's all the proof it's state quarters. It's, it's descriptive. It's 10 years of state quarters. It's, it's just descriptive. It's actually 12, 11. Oh, yeah, uh, that's Because it's true. inclusive, yeah. That's true. Uh, 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 so it's just all the proof state quarters. Now, what is proof? Proof, understand, is not a condition but a method of manufacturing, okay? Proof coins are made differently. Proof coins are special presentation coins. And the United States government, the proof coins only come in the United States government issue proof sets just like you see here. Now here's why this is always one of the absolute number one best sellers that we have. I am selling you these sets for less than the United States government did originally. What? The original cost on these with shipping and handling was $20 a set, $220 from the United States government with the, with, with the uh, shipping and handling because it was $14.95 plus $5 a shipping set? and handling. A set? A set. $14.95, yeah, that's normal for a proof okay. set. Okay. Matter of fact, today's proof set is about $55, bucks, okay? okay? So these were just the state quarter starting in 1999, 99, 2000, 2001, 2002, and it's all of those. I have then not only, because they put them out in these lenses, so they're difficult to see, if you go over there in front of Cali, mm -hmm. if we can look at that, I made a custom-made box. The United States oh, Mint cool. kind of sells a similar box. I think it's $14.95 or $15.95. I, I put a seal on there. I put it in the box so that you can hold that. There you go, Cali, you can hold it. So you can pull out any of the lenses and you can check them out. They're put in at an angle so they're easy to see and, and collect and hold. Very nice. So you have a nice place to put all 11 of the sets and you get them for basically well, 12 bucks a piece. That's crazy. Count the box in at $14.95 yeah. and you're $10 a piece on the set. You're basically That's literally crazy. $10 a piece on the set. These are going fast. I don't yes. even know if we're going to make nine minutes. Well, we'll see. We'll, we'll hopefully see. get okay. there. So now let me explain to you. So you have the original government proof sets. I put them in a box for you. I sell them to you for less than the United States government does. And you're going, well, they can't. I guess they're just not worth anything these days. <laughs> <laughs> Au contraire. <laughs> if you go to the nationally advertised catalog, as I want to do while I'm here, and let's go to this set. This, and I include this because they did the 10, uh, all 50 states, five coins per year, and then they did all the national uh, historic, uh, these are the uh, uh, territories, U.S. territories. So you have Washington, D.C. and the oh Northern Mariana it. Islands, Puerto Rico, you know, uh, right. American Samoa, all That's that. Right. So those are the, the six coins from 2009. Now, individually, if you look at these coins and I look them up in the catalog, these little guys right here, $11.95 a piece. Oh. Times six of them. Oh my gosh. So that's like 70 bucks. Yeah. Okay, that's like 70 bucks for the 2009s, okay? If I look at the 2008s, oh. and these are actually the key coins. The Hawaii coin by itself individually, $45. Stop. 1750, or 1795, 1795, 1795, 1795, and 45 bucks. 
So that's about 120. So you're about 200 bucks, the cost of what I normally sell the set for, 199 for, for just the, those two. For the, for the last two sets. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to insist you take all 11 <laughs> for $50 okay. off, and I'm going to give you a box. Okay. Okay. This is awesome. I've never seen us do, well, first of all, at $1.99, this sells out in moments, and we are busy already oh, on it. Well, yeah, all, er, er, everything's going on, on yep, this one. I yep. mean, you know, every, every phone line going. Because what you have, so, so if you were collecting the state quarters back in the day. Okay. Understand, unless you have these specific lenses that you see here, yeah. you don't have them. Because these are proof coins. These are not the coins that were released at the bank or the post office or somewhere out there in the general stream of commerce. These coins are only available in these United States. Like, here's the 1999. It says 50 state quarters. That's not a good one. That's one of the ones I dropped last week. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'll show everybody. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll show my what own folly and foibles right there. I, I, I dropped that one on the uh, ground. <laughs> well, you won't be getting this. I, you won't get that. Well, that's why it's a sample set. That's exactly. but, but let's, you know, I, you know I, I do those kinds of things. I'm sorry. Uh, and then, so here you have the 50 state quarters. There's the United States Mint logo that uh -huh. you're going to have right there. Awesome. And proof, remember, is not a condition but a method of manufacturing. The coins are struck multiple times at higher pressures oh. to give you this mirror finish. More importantly, they are significantly and substantially rarer than the regular issue coins. So if you were collecting the regular issue coin, let's say in 1999, and you had, the, oh, I have all the Delaware quarters, gem brilliant uncirculated. Well, these coins are like 400 times rare. Wow. <laughs> They're like 400 times rare. So when you look at this coin by coin by coin, there's 56 coins here. 56, 56 coins, six. you're so right. Two and a half bucks a piece. And some you're, of them you're are two worth and a half bucks a piece. Like, These are all like ten, eleven dollars a piece. These average twenty dollars a piece. And I'm looking here in the catalog in proof. I mean the 1999s, those are a mere six fifty a piece. So 32 bucks for that. Is it just me or are we making money on buying this set? Yeah, today? that's right. That's right. And that's what it comes down to. So to, so I'm looking at so so what are one of the, uh, the okay, here's there's a few of these like the uh, what are the 2003s in the catalog. You could actually get the 2003 set for $11. Basically what I pay. So 99, 2001, 2, 3. So this set, they sell for the same price we do. Everything else, we're anywhere between three and 10 times less, less. money. Yeah. Less money. Yeah. So that, that's what it is. And as you look at some of these, and some of them are, are just, you know, kind of crazy in terms of their collectability and their desirability. The Hawaii coin by far and away uh, uh, being the rarest uh, uh, coin in that set. Coin and it was by in 09 that they added the, uh, the five territories, right? The six territories. Six territories. There's actually six territories that's oh. why it's 56 coins you got the 50 yes. states okay and then the six territories got it. so if you remember what the united states state quarters were this you have to understand 1998 okay 1998 i was on tv selling coins that's uh -huh. what i do uh -huh. the coin industry i gotta be honest with you was a little it was kind of dead the United States government didn't have anything interesting. They haven't done anything other than release a penny, nickel, dime, quarter, half dollar okay. for, kind of boring. for 20 years. It was boring. It couldn't have been more boring. <laughs> and then they released the state quarters. Oh, that's... And then they released the state quarters. I remember in 1999, we had the Delaware quarter when it came out. Mm. And we had those, and we had them individually listed. I think they were $1.99 or $2.99. We had 10,000 of them that we put in the system. Yeah. When we went on the air, yeah. by the time I got on the air that night, and we and went on the air that night, uh, 1999. 99, okay. Okay. We went on the air. I, we thought there was a glitch. <gasps> what happened? But, well, they were all gone. Oh, my gosh. But they had all sold. That's crazy. I have literally sold more of these state quarters than anybody else alive. I have sold millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of United States states quarters but what i have not sold millions of is this set and the reason is is there's not millions of these sets to sell <laughs> if there was i would try and that's why it's so critically important for you to understand when i have enough to actually spend some time so i can talk about the quarters but we're counting you have to understand this is a this is a micro it's been so long since i've been able to talk about quarters how about you want to have the only united states coin that you're going to see right there with a diamond on it 2003 arkansas Ooh. oh wow. and you know why That's that is amazing because you can go find diamonds in arkansas at crater lake state park you can really? get the, you can find diamonds and you can keep them 
<laughs> oh, you oh, pay cool. ten bucks and you go look for diamonds. That's crazy. The only United States coin with a race car on it, of course, is Indiana. Okay, is going to be in there. You're going to have all of this history that each and every state decided to do, and they're memorialized in the rarest possible way, <clears throat> which is the proof American state quarter collection. And I can bring it to you for the lowest price. If you had been buying these things in 1999, if you would have bought them originally from the United States government, you would have paid more than $149.95. And that is very simply just the fact of the matter. And by the way, they're beautiful. Look at how shiny they well, are. Because they're proof coins. Yeah. Let me let me show yeah. you these. Look at, look at these coins. Because proof coins, once again, are made differently. Look at the reflectiveness of yeah, these. Yeah, they're really pretty. Check these out. They're struck multiple times. By the way, you want a San Francisco Mint United States quarter? The only way to get them is in here. They is didn't it? release any S Mint or San Francisco Mint. The P's and the D's, Philadelphia and Denver's, those what went into circulation. The only way to get the San Francisco coin is right here. And we have drop below 300. That is now more than half the quantity spoken for, and we have a ton of you ordering. <laughs> you can hear the excitement in Mike's voice. It's so rare that this is even available in any quantities at all, and these are gonna be selling out. In the next two minutes, these are gonna sell out. So we see you if you're on the lines. Don't hang up, jump in, get it now, 541 Will you show them the box again real quick? Yeah. Because I custom made the box. So what you do is, I wanna go over here, is turn it sideways so you can see that we show it at an angle. Yep so that it's easy when you look at the coins, you can look down and see the coins. Up next is the Silver Eagle Complete Mint Set. 2016, uh, we're gonna talk details. We don't have a lot 21 of gone. Well. 21, 21 gone. gone. We're we 21 gone. gone. What? Yeah, 21 gone. I love coin collectors. <laughs> now. So we sold you the, two, the 2015, and you've talked about, I've talked about these secret eagles that, like I said, you know, uh, like I said, this, this story of government intrigue and obfuscation, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> uh, and, and so you have the 2015s, which are like crazy $599 for the, for the mid state 69s and, and $4,600 for the mid state 70s and selling like crazy. You have the 2017s, which are still kind of close enough to where we still have a little bit of quantity. Well, kind of the middle child, okay. okay, the quiet child, okay, is the 2016s. And while from a pure rarity standpoint, this is only the third rarest mint state silver eagle, okay, and this is the fifth rarest American silver eagle, the problem with the 2016s is if you go out and look for them, it's easier to actually find for sale the 2015s. Really? Because the 2016s, well, we had the serial numbers and we had all of that stuff. It was a year and a half ago when they first all came out. They all seemed to have been opened. For the longest time, so March 22nd, we found out about this by March 30th, we're selling the, the 2015s. You know, the, the, the uh, gold rush had gone on, if you will. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, the 2017s show up. And then, no 2016s, no 2016s, no 2016s, no. And all so of a sudden, strange. the 2016s just simply didn't exist. And only recently have a few boxes of the 2016 shown up. Now, there may be some more of these that show up. If there's not, these could literally be rarer even than the 2015s. Wow. Certainly, they're, they're rarer out. than the 2017s by far. So I have the Mint State 70 Perfect Set. Now, this has another designation. This is the very first time that the United States Mint has made silver eagles at three different mints in one year. Now in 2015, they made coins at the Philadelphia Mint, but they didn't make any coins at San Francisco. So okay. they made Philadelphia and West Point. In 2011, 12, 13, and 14, they made them at Philadelphia and San Francisco. And they labeled those San Francisco coins, so we knew about those coins. 2015, so for 2016, the very first time they had Philadelphia and San Francisco and West Point. So it's the first trio of oh, Mint State American Silver Eagles that have ever been done by the United States government. And while by mintage, it might not be the rarest set, functionally, it is. And that's what I can tell you, and that's what I can promise you. And that's why 23 of these sets basically already sold before I started talking about them. 
because people understand people these are people that watch us every week these are people that collect coins some of them may well collect coins for a living and this is the very first time at any place any time now you go out and try to find 2016 psw sets i don't know that you can find them and it's not a price issue okay it's finding them at all Okay, it's finding them at all. These have been, like I said, it's the middle child, it's the quiet kid, if you will, uh, in this numismatic thing. So in this, in this series of American Silver Eagles that the United States government literally did not want you to know about, that literally tried to hide from you, and I guess we're you know, used to the government trying to hide stuff from us, <laughs> uh, but, but coins never before. Never before yeah, coins. That is so interesting. Have they tried to do that? And huh. so now you have the opportunity huh. to own the coins that the government never wanted you to not only own, but not even know, know about. about. And you have them in perfect mint state 70. Something we, just feels good about that. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't it? Doesn't it? And yeah. just say, okay, I get to do what I want to do. Yeah. I mean, you know, that this is what it is. Now we've already sold about 25 of these sets, okay? And you get all you get all, all three, three coins. Yeah. And this is one of those coin sets, like I said, good luck. You go out there try to find this set try to find this set and I would challenge you to find this set at any price Okay, 999 I think is a spectacular set. I think, and I mean, we have we have uh, turned over every numismatic stone on the planet that we're aware of. We put out, you know, if someone said, you know, I'm paying I'm paying double, well, I'll pay triple, you know, is what it comes down to because I was going to own these coins. Red Oak presentation box That's as included. well, you see. Yep. And like I said, so we have the com first complete mint set, in essence, PSW, They're that the so United States Mint has ever done. Each one, of course, an ounce of pure silver, so uh, uh, which is which is fantastic. Uh, already, like I said, 27 of these going. I think that we will sell Ooh, a significant quantity. Yeah, yeah, these are going to sell very, very, very quickly. And so, like I said, with the Red Oak presentation box. Yeah. So when you look at these coins, and for those of you that are just tuning in and you're wondering, okay, what what, what is the deal with these coins? The United States government has literally secretly been making American Silver Eagles at the Philadelphia and San Francisco Mint for the last three years. Because someone had, the, had enough smarts to just ask the government, because they have to tell you, okay? They, can't, they don't have to volunteer the information, but if you ask them, they have to tell you. And they ask them, could we have the mintage figures from all American Mint State Silver Eagles from 2014, 15, 16, and 17? And they came back and said, we yes. made them at these mints. This is how many we made. And he's like, really? <laughs> this is like the numismatic story really? of, the, of, the, of the decade. <laughs> and it's like, and I have the letter. It's right there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> how about that? Oh, and by the way, here's the serial numbers of all the boxes as well. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> That's spectacular information. Well, you get to own some coins that nobody was supposed to even know about. That's right. And so there's you. America's secret. American Silver Eagles. Season. It's the holidays at HSN. And this year we're celebrating 40 years of Mary. We've gathered all the things you need to make it the best holiday yet with something for everyone on your list. More gifts? Yes, please. Gifts for him. Gifts for her. A few for you. Gifts for kids. Gifts under 50. And exclusive finds you won't see anywhere else. Spend the holidays with friends. More. Is always merrier. More gifts, more brands, more friends, more merry. I'm Sarah Anderson, and you're enjoying a night full of great deals and new products, all in one place, right here at HSN. Tonight, discover the best deals from the world of coin collecting. If you're doing a little bit of holiday shopping tonight, stay calm and gift on with our holiday extended returns. Shop worry-free. You can return your gifts through January 31st, 2018. This is our, our 225th anniversary 10 coin set from the U.S. Men. Perfect enhanced uncirculated 70. Limited edition. This is $349.95. It is a stunning set. You're getting all 10 coins coming included here. Mike, walk us through because this, I mean, even the packaging alone is stunning. Well, uh, I, I have to take and a look at this. So here. this is the 2017 enhanced uncirculated. Look at that. So the, this is the 225th anniversary of the United States Mint. And they've done some special things for that 225th anniversary. Right. They've done some metal sets, and they've done that. But this is kind of the hallmark set that you see right here. 
Enhanced uncirculated is a special way of making coins. The first enhanced uncirculated coin only came out, I think it was in 2014, uh, it was the very first enhanced uncirculated coin, uh, uh, 2013 actually, uh, uh, because it's such a technologically difficult process. What they have to do is they have to use lasers to finish the dye, to create proof or proof-like surfaces within the dye, or to kind of take it and make matte finish surfaces within the dye. And so that technologically advanced process has only been uh, available for about five or six years. The United States government prior to this set had only released six enhanced uncirculated coins in its history, all of which sell uh, for an average of about, probably about $400 to $500 per coin for the enhanced uncirculated that have been released prior to this. So to bring this to bear for the 225th anniversary, the United States government made an entire set of enhanced uncirculated coins, which they had never done before. They did 225,000 of those sets. They sold them out from the United States Mint in four and a half minutes. Four and a half minutes, 225,000 sets. <laughs> That's impressive. Almost instantaneously, the price of these ungraded, uncertified sets, you know, kind of skyrocketed. Now, as in any collecting, and particularly numismatic and coin collecting, what you want to do is you want to collect the highest possible grade. These coins are all certified perfect. That's, that's important on several levels. First of all, you have a perfect set. Well, there were 225,000 sets. There are not 225,000 perfect sets. As a matter of fact, I don't even believe there's 25,000 perfect sets. And certainly there's not 25,000 certified perfect sets. I'm talking about in all possible uh, uh, places, in all possible venues by all of the grading companies, PCGS, NGC, or Annex. None of them together. Okay, all of them, sum, the sum total of all of them <clears throat> doesn't equal 25,000 sets. Now, our first day of issue, as you can see right there, look at the limited edition, is 1,092. To put it uh, uh, the easiest way, half sold out. Of, we're, we're half sold out. I got about 500 sets left of the entire edition in perfect Min state 70. So of the 225,000 sets, only 1,000, less than one half of 1% of them are Annex certified perfect first day of issue, and you're looking at those. Now, here's why that's important. So you have the enhanced uncirculated. You have 10 certified coins. Understand the certification alone here is almost a $300 value. It's about $30 to certify a coin. Good luck finding a set for $49.95. And of course, the certification when you're one half of 1% right. of the existing sets, of the extant sets, being uh, uh, going to be annexed first day of issue, then you know, you'd have to grade 20 sets or 30 sets to ensure that you get a perfect one. You could spend literally thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars for grading. But now let's took a, take a look at it on a coin by coin basis. By the way, you get it in this absolutely really cool spiffy box. So it's absolutely rare. It's first time. Look you get that. all 10 coins. They're all certified. They're all perfect. And they all come in this custom box just like this. I love it. Now I want to talk about the coin by coin. Like you said, your husband got this. Yes. Set. Because he understands piece by piece. I could probably break this up and sell it for five or six or seven hundred dollars mm. quite easily. Right up here. Let's take a look at the Lincoln cent. If we can get in close on that. You notice it's kind of proof-like on the one cent part of that. Of all of this, these are all made at the San Francisco Mint. Of all of the San Francisco minted Lincoln cents ever made by the United States government, this is the rarest. The 1909 SVDB, which you've heard about and sells for tens of thousands of dollars in its highest grade, this coin is rarer. If you want to look at any of the incredibly rare Lincoln cents, the regular issue Lincolns, this is the rarest of all of those coins. I could quite easily see this, and I have seen this coin selling for $100 or $150 by itself. Just the one cent? That's right. And it wow. is also, yes, it's the only enhanced uncirculated Lincoln cent ever made by the United States government. I'm going to flip that over, if you don't mind, so you can just see that beautiful matte finish that's on the front of that coin. Understand in this coin, you're basically paying 30 bucks. Mm -hmm. Count the box in at $49.95. So you're basically paying $30. That's a coin that's easily $100 or $150. So, Mike, this is, this is different than satin finish because this is yes, enhanced. Yes, yes. This satin finish is different. That's a, okay. just a special matte finish. These are enhanced uncirculated. That's how you get this one cent looking proof like because they've laser finished the dye. Oh. It's extraordinarily technologically difficult. And that's why these are the only enhanced uncirculated coins that the United States government is going to make this year. 
They've only made 16 in their history. This is 10 of them. The other six you couldn't buy for $349. There's many of those coins, not even one of them you could buy for $349. <clears throat> if you go right next door to it, the, the Jefferson Nickel, the rarest Jefferson Nickel, uh, regular issue Jefferson Nickel ever yeah. made by the United well, States government, is this over. coin right yeah. here. And that's going to be included <clears throat> for basically $30. Right instead of $100 or $150. And then the cost of getting a graded. The certification and all that. So now you're looking at rarity, collectability, desirability right. on an unprecedented level. Then you go to the Roosevelt dime right next to that. They have done another enhanced uncirculated Roosevelt dime. Good luck finding that for less than $100 in perfect condition. It came out of the March of Dimes set from several years ago. That's a problem for you to be able to get that set. So add in that coin. Now, those top three coins I can easily show you paying $349 for those. And I'm not talking about Annex first day of issue. I'm just talking about imperfect uh, EU enhanced uncirculated 70 period. Then you go down here. You're going to have the Kennedy half dollar. They've done another enhanced and circulated Kennedy. Right. In the 2014 set, I think we sold them out at $100 or $129. Okay. This coin is also enhanced on circulated that you're going to have. And it's every bit as rare as the other coin. As a matter of fact, they have the same mintage. You have the enhanced uncirculated Sacagawea golden dollar next to this. They did one in 2015. The EU 70 coin in that, the 2015, sells for I think about three or four thousand bucks. <laughs> okay, gosh. this one once again thirty dollars. So all of those are collectible. Like I said, I can make an argument that the first row should be 349 and the second row should be 349 but this is kind of the coup de grace down here. The National Park quarters? Yes. The National yes. Parks quarters. Every one of them in enhanced on circulate. If you want the five rarest Washington quarters made by the United States government, and you're looking at the 32D and the 32S have always been the hallmarks of collectability. Those are rarer than all of them. If you want the only five enhanced uncirculated quarters ever made by the United States government, those are them. If you want the rarest S-minted quarters made by the United States government in the last century, these are the five of them right here. And they are all certified absolutely positively perfect. And I should be selling that set by itself at $349.95. And indeed, someday I may. <laughs> and indeed, someday I may. So understand from a collectability standpoint, understand from a desirability standpoint, the rarity of this is virtually, you have the rarest, you have the rarest Lincoln cent, the rarest nickel, the second rarest dime. You've got the second rarest Kennedy. This is the second rarest Kennedy half dollar that you've got on this. You've got the rarest five quarters. So you have coins of exceptional rarity here of absolute and incredible exceptional rarity, and they're right. all certified absolutely positively perfect. Robin, you want to pick that up and show? I Look at that. Do. And you get the collector box with that as well. Look. Understand the $349 basically represents very simply the certification price. That's what you would pay to certify these coins if you had the sets yourself. And like I said, and the government sold those sets out sold those sets out in four and a half minutes. Right, and let's talk about, even if you did get it from the U.S. Mint, which is really the only place outside of once it's that secondary seller, mm -hmm. but my point is, is that you're not guaranteed to get a 70, right, Mike? No. So even though you buy <laughs> it from, from it. For, exactly, you don't know until you send it off to the, one of the four major grading companies, and Mike, let's talk about those those grading companies. Yeah, we have Annex, we have NGC, PCGS, and, and uh, ICG. Okay. Those are the four recognized grading companies, well, and Annex, first day of issue and annex coins uh, you can get those anywhere but these coins for this price in this first day of issue are exclusive to us here at hsn <laughs> you simply cannot get them any place else these sets are absolutely half sold through the entire quantity that i have got that we will able to be able to sell for the entire year as a matter of fact we have nearly the better part of 100 sets sold in this presentation there's only a thousand sets available for worldwide distribution with everybody on the phone we're going to sell 20 or 25% of the available sets right here, right now. The rarity of this, and once again, I want to go over this in the last minute or minute and a half that we have here. Understand, the rarest Lincoln cent, the rarest San Francisco minted Lincoln cent since 1909 is this coin right here.
This coin right here substantially should be selling for $100 to $150 at the very least by itself. The rarest Jefferson nickel, uh, uh, the second rarest Roosevelt dime, the, basically the second rarest Kennedy half dollar, one of the five rarest uh, 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 Sacagawea or Native American dollars, but most importantly, the five rarest uh, Washington quarters that have been made since 1932 in regular uh, or uncirculated, the five rarest uncirculated Washington quarters, the only enhanced on circulated Washington quarters ever made by the United States Command. All five of them are included in this. Their rarity at 225,000, it's rarer than the proof coins, it's rarer than the silver proof coins, it's rarer than all of those coins. And these are the coins that sold out from the United States Mint, the original sets sold out from the United States Mint in four and a half minutes, folks. Four and a half minutes, yet you have a chance to own them in absolutely, positively perfect condition, in absolutely, positively perfect condition in our custom-made box for literally the cost of certification. Right. It's not like you have to buy a sold out set. You gotta buy five sets and send them in to try to get a and complete and perfect set. Hopefully, yeah, <laughs> you know, fingers crossed, I'm gonna get a perfect set with five sets. You get the perfect set, one phone call, gets you an absolutely perfect right. set of one of the most significant sets ever released by the United States government. So think about that. So you're getting every single one of the 10 coins graded a perfect 70, enhanced uncirculated 70 at $349.95. You get all 10 coins. You get the wonderful packaging as well, coming included. It's 577-365. If you want this, this is exclusive with that enhanced uncirculated limited edition and annex. But I know with that limited edition, we are already more than halfway through the quantity that we have available. Well, the, the entire edition. Right. I mean, there's 1,092 of these. I'm down to, with everybody on the phone, I have 300 left. Five coins. The United States government made five silver-proof Eisenhowers. These are them. In the original government lens so and the original government thing. So they made 71, the 72, 73, 74. And then the 76, these are proof silver. So you get five silver proof Eisenhowers. From 71 to 74. 71 to 74, and then they did the bicentennial. Wow. Now, here, here's the amazing part about Don't this, okay? Cut. This $179.95, that's, that, that's the cool part. If I go, because one of the absolute keys of the entire modern issue, and certainly the key of the Eisenhower, is the 73, this coin right here, the mm -hmm. 73S. And I just want to see, okay, 73S, Silver it's Eisenhower, okay. in the catalog, I've got it right here in my hands, $105. See what I'm saying? For this coin is $105. The other ones around it are a mere $49.50. Okay, so okay. just these alone, wow. $250, mm -hmm. basically, a little over $250 right there. And then you have this silver, and with this you get the silver bicentennial, the silver Kennedy, and the silver quarter so all in proof as well. seven coins. So you're well in excess of coin by coin over $300 here. But you're getting it you're at 179 well, and on a flex pay, it's $44.99. Absolutely the case. Like I said, so we're $49.50, $49.50, $49.50, $49.50, $105. 105. Okay, so that's 150, 250, a little over 250. And then this coin's 47.95, so that's 300. 300. And this one's, uh, I think, 1895, 320, okay. 340, 350. There you go. I like this price better. Yeah, I like half. <laughs> now, the other thing, and I just noticed this, and you know me, I never, ever, 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 ever pay attention. Flex pay. I know. I just Isn't that cool? $44.99. You pay one quarter of the price, and you get all seven coins delivered. I love that the trio of coins on the top are already in their own little, look at that great presentation box, from 76 to, oh, through 1916. That's cool, I didn't realize the different dates on, on the trio. Well, it, it's the bicentennial, so 1776, 1976. It's a dual-dated coin. These are proof, okay? Now, the other thing about this is do not be confused. These are silver coins. They made other proof Eisenhowers. They made other Eisenhower dollars. I think they made 32 different Eisenhower dollars or something like that, 30 different Eisenhower silver dollars. They made five silver Eisenhower dollars. Five silver. All the rest of them are clad. In other words, they're not silver. They have no intrinsic value. Of the special presentation coins made by the United States government in the entire Eisenhower silver dollar series, 
okay? In the entire Eisenhower Silver Dollar Series, they did five silver proofs. You get them here. My goodness. Okay, they did silver, they did proof Eisenhower's in 77 and 78, okay, uh, uh, in regular proof sets, but they weren't silver. So keep in mind that you get five silver dollars for $179. Now add in the rarity, the scarcity, the desirability, the collectability of all that, particularly of this coin. Like I said, this is a $100 coin, a little over a $100 coin right here. Okay, check that out. Now here's one of the things that I love about the Eisenhower, particularly this particular coin. A dual date and a dual commemorative. Oh, I see. See yeah. how they did this? These are unique one-year-only reverses for the Bicentennial. There's Independence Hall, there's the drum, Fife and Drummer, and then you're going to have the Liberty Bell in front of the moon. Ooh, look so at that. So this is also, because the Eisenhower dollar was also a, a Apollo commemorative as well. They show the moon on the reverse of all of the oh, coins, but this that. is the Liberty Bell in front of that one. And I took this out of here. This is the original. Check this out. This is the original Certificate of Authenticity. Stop, really? That's so cool. United States Mint Bicentennial Silver Proof Set, right there. Sweet. Isn't that spectacular? Really that was nice. fitting right in there. We've I'll dropped below 500 uh, available. Oh my goodness, yeah. We yeah. got lots and lots of people on the phone. Great opportunity. Now remember, the, this is the original, this is not my lens, okay? This is the one, let me go back and I'll show the back side of this. Eisenhower, United States, proof dollar and there's the eagle landing on the moon okay wow, so that beautiful. was commemorative and there's the earth in the distance there so isn't that mm. spectacular yes. done in proof and then if you look at this united states proof dollar right there isn't that spectacular united states packaged by the u.s mint so it's all u.s mint packaging as you can see right there this is 71 72 73 74 and then the bicentennial sorry about that guys no worries great choice guys 582140 yeah. is the item number. Yeah, use the FlexPay. That is a rare moment to be able to spread payments out, but you get all the coins delivered just to your, right to your front door in a couple of days. Cool. Hi, I'm Sarah Anderson. So you found yourself in the middle of a night full of HSN's best. All the hottest deals are here in one place, just for you. Tonight, learn something new about coins from our resident coin expert, Mike Mizak. No matter what you're looking for, get the VIP treatment with the HSN credit card. $20 off, VIP financing, exclusive deals, and extra flex. This is the perfect way to honor all of the national parks. Big, bold, fun, collectible. And do we have a regular size quarter, Mike? Uh, we'll get one out here. Yeah, I, I bet love, you we can get one I bet here. we can. Um, these, Mike, talk to us about the significance of these because these are ginormous. Well, here, here's the thing. The United States government, when it first started, the, the United States State Quarter Program was, of course, so phenomenally popular. It was so, uh, uh, it, it kind of revived the entire coin collecting industry and, and world. And they continue on with that uh, with the America the beautiful series which is America's national parks and national historic areas one of the things that they decided to do with this uh, that they'd never done before is they decided to make each and every one of those quarters in a five ounce silver version so they did the quarters reprised the quarters and each one of these is five ounces of absolute pure silver nine 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 fine silver five ounces so as you can see it features the edge lettering that's right there well they started these out in 2010 and it created this huge uproar in 2010 and those 2010 coins that came out sell today for four to six hundred dollars a piece because of the numismatic value because they only made about twenty two thousand five hundred of each one of those twenty four thousand of each one of those well this is the brand new release this is the ellis island folks now i have had all of the 2017 coins coming into this so we had just recently the ozark riverways i sold that out instantaneously at 199 dollars i brought in another batch at, a, at an increased price i think 229 dollars and we sold every one of those the frederick douglas we sold out at 199 dollars i think they're about 299 dollars now and then prior to that we had the effigy mounds coins that we sold at 199 dollars and i think they're about 249 or 279 now because what the united states government has done this year is when they make the release they make a certain number of coins and then they don't make them again 
So here's what it comes down to, the Ellis Island. Remember I was telling you the 2010 coins? Mm -hmm. At 24,000 coins are four to $600 a piece. This coin is rarer. All the 2017 coins are rare. As a matter of fact, this <laughs> is by mintage the rarest of the five ounce America uh, solid silver coins. So what you end up with is not only, and at 20,000 is the mintage. It would make it by far the rarest American. If this was an American Silver Eagle with a mintage of 20,000, I can tell you what it would sell for, about eight or $10,000 because of that mintage. But it's even rarer than that, and it's not one ounce of silver, it is five ounces of solid silver. It's five ounces of solid silver. I'm gonna go ahead and put an actual quarter next to this. Now, <clears throat> do not confuse this. Please do not confuse this with a with a, 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 one of the, a bar or one of those other things you know that are out there in the marketplace bars or rounds that are made by private mints. This is a United States government issue coin. This is made by the United States. Look at the sheer size. The rarity of this is absolutely positively stunning. And then add in the fact that what I've got here is the Ellis Island. Right. And you the said this one oh. and only release of these. Mm -hmm. They, really, they made 20,000 coins. I bought 1,000. Mm -hmm. I bought 5% of the entire mintage. You and I have not done one of these in prime That's time yet. Said, right. I have 434 left of the 1,000 I brought in. Right. And the reason is, as mm -hmm. soon as we put them on hsn.com, people have been waiting. We've been collecting these. We've been selling these. So all the ones that I sold for 179, silver was a little less, 179, 189, 199, which are my original issue prices, we are now, when we have those, are now 249, 299, 329, 349. I have the Hawaii coin from 2012. I think it's $529. This coin is every bit as rare as the Hawaii, with, of course, the same exact amount of silver, five ounces of silver in each and every one of these. So you've got fantastic intrinsic value. You've got absolutely amazing rarity of only 20,000 coins. I have my original price from my original release right here. Original price from the original release. These are all that I'm going to get at $199. Mm. Already in the secondary market, if I were to buy them, I'd have to be $229, I'd have to be $249. If you just check, if I have on hsn.com, if I have the Ozark Riverways coin, because I had to restock those, I was only able to get 400 of the Ozark Riverways. And when I got those, and I think I'm 229 on those, perhaps a little bit more. We've already sold 82 of these, okay? I've only got about 400 left now of the thousand that I had. Five ounces pure silver in each and every one. So it's hefty. Yeah, well, yeah, it's over a quarter <laughs> of a pound of pure silver. So, so understand that, that part and parcel of this is at $199, a significant part of the price is just the silver value. Right. Now add in the incredible rarity of the coin itself. The fact that this coin is fantastically rare. Okay? The fact that it is, it is the rarest of all of the five ounce American uh, uh, silver quarters that are out there from the America the Beautiful series. Add in the fact that I got these at the original issue price and they've <laughs> already started moving into the secondary market, yes. as, is, uh, as is often the case. And as you can see uh, uh, that, so, so the rarity of these is virtually unprecedented. Then add in the intrinsic value of every single one of these. The fact they have over a quarter of a pound of silver in each, uh, in each one of those, and that becomes true and abject collectability. And Mike, is this the largest coin that the U.S. Largest made? silver coin. The largest, largest silver, silver coin. coin. Well, the largest silver coin, gold coin, largest coin. The coin ever. That largest the US coin they've ever made. Ever yeah. made. So, I mean, if you were looking at the scale and you picked up the palladium coin, and that was the first palladium coin that the Mint has ever made, and then you're looking at the scale, you're looking at the size, the collectability, the rarity of these coins, the five-ounce silver coins. This is the largest silver coin the U.S. Mint makes. So there are so many reasons to collect this coin. The fact that we're putting it on four flex today of $49.99, already over 120 now have been spoken for. We've got a limited quantity to go around. And this was really truly known, Ellis Island, as the island of hope. It was a beacon of hope that welcomed over 12 million immigrants for a better life coming to America. There is such a significance and an importance to having this coin and collecting this coin, even Mike, for the holiday season, to be able to give it. It is just stunning. We're going to show you a well, comparison. 
those aren't Riverways. I had to restock these because I sold them out at one ninety nine. I have I have them here at two nineteen that you see here two nineteen ninety five. I think I got about two dozen of those left at the twenty dollar more price. If I restock them, that'd be two forty nine or two seventy nine. So that's what happens. That's what's going to happen to this coin in three hundred and sixty coins. Okay, I'll have to go into the secondary market and try to get those. So I still have the Ozark Riverways, yeah, which look, is the one before there's this. There's how many left? 19. Oh, there's 19 left. Is that 10 or 19? That, I, I can't, can't see mine. Yeah, it's, it's, it's 10 or 10. 10. There's Both only, of us can't see. Yeah. There's only 10 of those left right. at 219. At 219. Okay, I had like two or 300 of those at 219. There's 10 of those left. Right. And then I had uh, I, I, the Frederick Douglass is long gone. Okay. The effigy mounds is long gone. Oh, dude, I thought we had a few effigy. Oh, we do. We do, I think. Ooh. Don't what we? Is that? No. No, oh, I don't no, think, we no, don't. No, I don't think we have any FG mounts. Oh. Uh, uh, those are long sold out. So once again, five ounces, the 2017, or, uh, yeah, the 2017 five ounce coins have been kind of the quiet heroes mm -hmm. of, the, of the American numismatic production of this year. All the coins are like 20,000, the rarest of all of the coins that have been done in the five ounce America, the beautiful series. They've all been exceptionally rare, exceptionally difficult to get. This is the last of my quantity that I have at the original issue price for us of $199.95, over 150 of these gone, which basically means 750 ounces of silver. It's a lot. So we're looking at 40 pounds of silver, 40 pounds of silver but look at just the, gone just like that. Look at the detail. I mean, look at the detail. I mean, the mm -hmm. little boy with the American flag. I mean, it's that beacon of hope. It's that way of a better life. As those immigrants came to Ellis Island, you know, so many of us are so proud of America. And as we should be, this is a coin that really just, it's amazing, and I really hope you're getting it today. We're going to move into the Palladium coin, as I just mentioned. Now, we started off our coin show when we opened our vault this evening here at HSN. We completely sold out of the Mint State 70s Palladium coin. It had, I mean, Mike said to me before we came out here, we have moved heaven and earth to get these coins. We are pretty much, I mean, Mike, you said, is this safe to say? Like, we're pro probably really the only ones that already have, have That already have the coins. Yeah, that yeah, already yeah, have yeah, the we, coins. We have live what we call live coins. Okay. I have coins in hand. Nobody else, as a matter of fact, up until two weeks ago, the government hadn't even released the final design. Okay. We didn't even know what they were going to look like. Nobody knew what they were going to look like literally two weeks ago. They finally kind of released a rendition of this, and then all of a sudden, boom, two weeks later, I have I have actual coins in hand. This is right. the real deal. This is not a mock-up or anything else. Anybody else's, anything else I've seen out there has been in pre-sell, um, uh, which good luck with that, you know. Right. Uh, you know uh, I, I love the pre-sale. Well, I, I bought mine, and they're really, really rare, rare, and everybody wants them. And they go, yeah, we didn't get what we thought, ah. you know. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. The pre-sale thing out there is one of the biggest jokes in the marketplace. That's why we, we just don't really do that. So let me explain to you what this is. Okay. I got the coins. We've we got live coins. People have asked, what's the number one question we've been getting? What is palladium? Palladium, right. What is palladium? Palladium is a precious metal. As a matter of fact, in terms of rarity, on the scale of rarity, you have gold, then you have platinum. Platinum's about 100 times rarer than gold, roughly. Palladium is about 100 times rarer than platinum. So that makes palladium about 1,000 times rarer than gold. So in terms of pure collectability and desirability, literally palladium, which is Rare platinum, okay, is ultimately what it comes down to, is a thousand times rarer than gold. Now, based on the price of gold, this should be $1.4 million, <laughs> oh okay? Gosh. But it's not. So what I believe, of course, is that palladium is significantly undervalued, just from a pure intrinsic value. And this is, by the way, people are going, well, if it's that rare, this just must be plated, right? Nope. No, 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 no. This is one ounce of pure palladium. 0.9995 fine palladium, right there, one ounce pure. So you've got the rare and intrinsic value of this. Now let's talk about it from a coin standpoint. How many palladium coins have ever been done by the United States government? None. You're looking at it. <laughs> right. Okay. Up, in, up until now, this is it. This is it, right here. This is the only palladium coin ever done by the United States government. Right here in hand, you're taking a look at it, and, you're, and, and we have it. This is your very first look. If it looks a bit familiar to you, it's because that is the design of the, what we call, Mercury, Mercury. Dime. 
designed by Adolf Weinman. Obviously, the front and back of these are vintage coins, and they're made to look like vintage coins with that palladium kind of almost has a matte finish, whereas platinum's a little shinier yeah. uh, with that. Now, the United States has been making platinum coins since 2000, and, or since 1997. As a matter of fact, I can't sell you a platinum American Eagle for $1,999.95, mm -hmm. even though palladium's a thousand or a hundred times rarer. Adolf E. Wyman also designed the reverse of this coin. This was supposed to be the reverse of the Walking Liberty half dollar. It turned out not to be. Thank goodness they saved the design, and we have it now in pure palladium. The United States government, when they released this, did not sell this coin and will not sell this coin directly to the United States public. Mm -hmm. It only goes out through a series of authorized purchasers, what are called APs. Those APs, there's about 12 of them, each one of them got basically 1,000 coins. Mm -hmm. They then allocated those, they then allocated those to their customers. I was able to, uh, moving heaven and earth to actually get the coin here was one thing. Okay, moving heaven and earth to get enough coins to sell here was a whole nother thing. Because all these people, I'll give you 50, I'll give you 50, I'll give you 50 or whatever. Obviously, to have 127 of these and then the 70s that we sold out for more money, I had to have literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of coins, of which I did. As a matter of fact, I had the better part of about 7% of the entire mintage of all the palladium coins that were out there. We invested, in essence, literally uh, uh, in excess of a million dollars just to be able to get the uncertified, ungraded coins, to be able to get the first day of issue, to be able to get the first coins in hand, to be able to get the very first and only palladium or ultra-rare platinum coin high in high relief ever made by the United States government. I've got them right here, right now. Please understand that. With the Adolf Weinman design. Folks, this is a phenomenally scarce, desirable, and valuable coin, and something that you 100% must put in your collection. The high relief refers to the strike of the coin. When you turn this to the side, you see Lady Liberty right there, basically Mercury, wants to jump off the coin. It struck in it's ultra high relief. Beautiful. It's exceptionally beautiful coin. Mm -hmm. uh, palladium lends itself to that because it is the least dense, read softest of all of the metals that are out there, of the regular precious right. metals. So it's hard to get it to grade it's 70. It's hard to get it to grade 70. As a matter of fact, I believe 69 will be an exceptionally high grade mm -hmm. as well. Keep in mind, this is one ounce of pure palladium. This is one ounce of pure pure palladium that is in this coin. And it's extraordinarily difficult that you understand the rarity of the metal. You understand the rarity of the coin with a mintage of about, uh, uh, about 15,000 is all that they're going to do. It is the only palladium coin. So it is the very first time that I've been able to in 20 years sell a coin that is unique compositionally. So in other words, the United States government has not introduced a new composition coin in many, many, many years, they started making the Platinum Eagle. There was other Platinum-type coins that the United States government had made and experienced, but they'd never done a Palladium coin Gosh, before, and I that. doubt that they will ever do one again because of the rarity of the metal. If you followed Palladium in the last uh, uh, a week or so, it's gone up about $50 an ounce. So the intrinsic underlying value of this coin has gone up about $50 in the last week. I had already locked in the price, and that's why I can lock in the price to you at a, uh, at a at uh, 19, uh, 99, that we've got right here. It is, as you can see, first day of issue, 100% exclusive to us here at HSN in first day of issue. I am down to about 100 coins. Right. I am down to about 100 coins, and once I sell that out, once again, the first day of issue is done, gone, and over, never to be able to be offered again. Mm -hmm. It is exclusive to us 100%. We have got coins, which is a big deal. There's many coins out there. You may still say, see pre-sales out there or whatever for people at, at even more money. Uh, but understand, we have coins. We have been guaranteed coins. There has been tremendous allocations of this coins. There are many people that are not going to get the coins they thought they were going to. And uh, uh, you may be getting these sad sack letters. Oh, we'd love to be able to sell you the coin, but we just weren't able to get them. Ours are, ours are committed. Ours are owned. Ours are already being certified and graded. So buy where you know. Exactly. 
Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Well, Buy from a place that, that you know is... That's reputable, it, that, that's trustworthy, right. has been here. I mean, we've celebrated our 40th year here at HSN this year. So you want to buy from that trusted source. You want to buy where you know the coins have been authenticated, that they are guaranteed, and to the fact that you have an amazing return policy. And I don't say that lightly. Any given day, we offer 30-day money-back guarantee, which Always. is fantastic. Always. But for the holiday this season... Is, this is crazy. It is crazy, especially for the world of coins. And you know what? Sometimes I always wonder, I'm kind of nervous, Mike, because I think that they're going to say excluding coins, but they're not saying excluding coins. We are going to honor that return policy all the way through January 31st, 2018, if you're giving this coin as a gift. And by all means, when you think about the rarity, the collectability, how distinctive, how discerning, if you are that collector that you want the creme de la creme, you want the best of the best. This is your coin. The fact that you're talking about never in the history of the U.S. Met in 225 years has never been made a palladium coin. That is a big deal. Well, palladium, like I said, is a thousand times right. rarer than gold. So palladium, so from just a pure intrinsic standpoint of owning the coin, of owning the metal, it's right. important. Now add in making it into a coin. So that's just the intrinsic value. And then the now numismatic. add in the numismatic value. Right. Every one of these coins, which like I said, the government's not selling to the public, has already been spoken for in essence at the wholesale level. So only secondary coins are going to be made available. And what I have got is my 